Let us now join in today's broadcast. Batande kise kon de breke teli dinge sobra katale medela ke le stabla ton di skele bada ka sobro ke tele bragada bashota it delights me to bring you the word of god this hour thanking god for this privilege we have to be partakers of the goodness of god but one of the things i know the goodness of god is wrapped up in the word of god any time God wants to bless a person, he sends his word. And the release of the word of God is the release of the goodness of God. And that is the reason why I want you to settle down wherever you are. I want you to take time and listen to this word. Listen to this message. It is not by accident that I am reaching out to you at this time. God has sent me to you. The Lord asked me to tell you there is help for you. It does not matter what you are going through now. It does not matter what is happening to your destiny. It does not matter who agrees with you now or who disagrees with you. I come to tell you that God is in the place to help you. The Lord asked me to let you know that he wants to help you. I was just on my own when the Lord said to me, he wants me to go on the, I mean on this broadcast to let his people know that he wants to help them. I don't know what you are going through, but I want you to know that there is help for you. There is help for you. There is help for you. I'm saying it to you, there is help for you. It is not over in your destiny because God is willing to help you. God is ready to help you. God is sent me to let you know there is help for you. Saint of God, a life of men comes to a complete end when there is no help or helper. And I want you to know that when you have God as your helper, you have everything. When you have God as your helper, you have everything. And that is the reason why I want you to relax, settle down. I want you to know that the help of God is reaching you now. Anytime God would do anything for somebody, the first thing he does is to send this word, to let you know that this is what I want to do for you. There is help for you. I want you to know that. And if you look with me to the book of uh, Luke chapter number 5, is the story of Peter. Peter was a man that had come to the end of himself, end of his business, end of his career, end of a situation for him. Things were not working in the life of Peter the way he expected it to work. And if you look at Luke chapter 5, the Bible says, So it was, as a multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Genesaret, and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them, and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon. He got into one of the boats. He got into one of the boats, which was Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toyed all night and caught nothing. We have toyed all night and caught nothing. This is the same thing some people are saying. Some people have toyed all their lives. Some people have toyed for the, for, for the better part of their lives. You know, life is a toiling testimony for you. But can I submit to you today that your story has come to a point of turnaround. Your story has come to a point of change. Why? The Lord said I would help you. I want you to lift up your voice this evening and say, Lord, I receive your help. Because help is no help 
if the people you want to help does not see the need of it. You have to see the need of the help. Say, Lord, I receive your help this evening. Say, Lord, I receive your help this evening. Say, Lord, I am happy with your help this evening. I receive your help today. Lift up your voice. I receive your help over my family, over my destiny. I receive your help over my life. I receive it. I receive your help now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Simon, 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 he was frustrated on his business. He was frustrated on his career. And this could be your story. Maybe at this point in time, everything is scattered for you. Everything is upside down. You have no idea. I'm telling you, there is help for you. I'm telling you. There is help for you. Your life can change. Your destiny can take a new turn. You can start living a different life. There can be a telebra ko telebrege do shayabada. E gabato boko de gedibre getele bagade. I'm telling you your life. It, it you see, because your life was a toiling life, you know, before does not mean that it will continue to be like that. If you are ready to receive the Lord's help, the Lord will turn it around for you. Peter was here, Simon Peter. The Bible says, he said to the Lord, he said, nevertheless at your word, I will let down the net. And when he had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. This was the same man that was rounding up. This was the same man that was giving up. This was the same man that was calling it quit. But do you know what? The help of Jesus for Peter turned it around for him. I'm telling you, saint of God, it's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Anytime God wants to bring a change to a life, he meets them the way I am meeting you this evening. The Lord sent his messengers to his people. Because I'm telling you, it does not matter what had been your story. God's involvement, God's, you know, God's coming in into your situation is the declarer of a new beginning for you. I'm announcing to you today that your life is taking a new turn. Just like Simon, he toyed, he was frustrated, but at the Lord's help, at the Lord's appearance, things change for him. I'm announcing to you, I'm announcing to you, things are changing for you. Things are turning for you. I'm announcing to you. That is the reason why I'm starting, you know, I'm, the Lord sent me to start this broadcast. This is the first of the episode you are watching. And in this series of episodes, the Lord just want me to let his people know there is help for you. There is help for you. Your life does not have to go on being frustrated. You don't have to go on being sick. You don't have to go on crying. You don't have to continue being broken. You don't have to continue failing. There is help for you. 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 All you need to do is to reach out for his help. All you need to do is to reach out for the Lord's help. Your story can change. Your life can change. By the grace of God, you know, I, by the grace of God, this is what I do. And I have met 1,001 persons that, you know, uh, come to their wit end. Some people thought they were going to die. Some people thought their life had ended. Some people, you know, they, they have concluded and, you know, they have given up on themselves. But at the Lord's intervention, things change for them. And that is what I am saying to you. Things are beginning to change for you. Just open up and receive the Lord's help. How much more should I talk about Joseph? Joseph was a man that God showed the vision that he was going to be great. In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 37 told us about Joseph. Genesis 37, the Bible told us that Joseph had a dream. 
in Genesis 37 verse 5. He said, now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him, him even more. Do you know, saints, somebody you are listening to me, your life is in pieces. You don't even know where to pick it. You don't even know where to start. Listen to me. The Lord is telling me it would help you put your life together. It will help you. It will help you put your life together. I see you in a room, and in that room, everything is scattered, and you don't even know where to start. You don't even know where to begin. You don't even know where to, you, you, you don't even know how to go about, you know, who to call, who to talk to. But the Lord is telling me to let you know that the same you that is in this position now, your life will change. I remember, you know, while I was reading about Joseph, you know, my name is Joseph as well. Couple of years ago, my life was upside down. Couple of years ago, things were so bad. Things were so rough for me. Couple of years ago, it was as if, you know, all the devils in the old world were fighting me. That was how life was for me. It was as if I was fighting the entire devil, the entire Satan in the whole universe. You know, but at those times, God helped me. God helped me. He helped me to call upon him for help. And God helped me. And I tell you, God's people, my life take a new turn. People that used to see me before and they used to laugh at me, they now see me and laugh with me. People that used to tell me, who are you before? They are now telling me, how are you? Do you know why? God helped me. Don't fight anybody. Some of you, you are so, so bothered about what one person is saying against you or what that person is saying, you know, that is bad about you. Don't fight them. All you need is for God to help you. When God help you, you see those people that are talking negative about you, those people that are saying, who are you? They will come, the same people. We come back to say, how are you? This was the case with Joseph. Joseph had the dream and he told it to his brothers. And they hated him, you know, because of his dream. They hated him because of his dream. And at the end of it, even though Joseph had the dream that, he, oh my God, somebody is listening to me this evening. The destiny God had for you is a great destiny. The destiny God planned for you is a great destiny. But things are so bad. You know it that God has a great plan for you. But things are so bad for you now. Things are so bad for you that you are not even bothered about whatever destiny now. You are telling yourself, well, let destiny sit on its own. Let me just, let me just have little, little to just make way with. Can I submit to you, don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on that plan of God for you because you will get there. Help has come for you. That is why I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, I receive your help. I want you to say, Lord, I receive your help. Lord, I receive your help. Lord, I receive your help. Let that be your prayer. Lord, your help, I receive it. Say, Lord, I receive your help. You helped Simon. His life changed. You helped Joseph. His life changed. That same God can help you. Lift up your voice and say, help me. Say, Lord, help me. Say, Father, help me. If you cry for his help, he will help you. Your life will change. Your destiny will turn around in the name of Jesus. It all happened in 2019. I sadly lost my dad. And um, because of the situation surrounding his death, it made me, be, you know, made me fearful. After the funeral, I came back to England. I became very fearful. It was so bad that I could hardly sleep at night. And then the devil was there putting all these ideas in my head that, you know, someone else was going to die again in the family and all that. So at night, I found it really difficult to sleep because of fear. And I would anoint my bed, anoint the whole house. The more I, anoint, the more I anointed, the more fearful, I, you know, I was. Until I began to engage more in prayers and possibilities fair. And the more I engaged in prayers, the more I realized that the fear was subsiding and the more I, I anointed my room less. Now, there's nothing wrong with anointing your room or anywhere, but it's just the mindset behind the anointing. If you're anointing and you're in fear, it doesn't work. But when you're anointing your room in faith 
and it works better. And those, that's what I found, you know, being in possibilities fair and all that. So I thank God that today I can just lie down, put my head on the pillow and sleep off. I will not even think of anything. Now there's a scripture that I head on to through prayers. You know, that scripture that says that afflictions will not rise a second time. I held on to that scriptures and I kept saying to God, afflictions will not rise up a second time in my family because I knew what we were praying about. During that process, we nearly lost my immediate younger brother just after the death of my dad. So it wasn't just an ordinary fear. And, you know, the fear came from things that were spiritual, things that were happening around me. So I held on to that scriptures. The more I prayed with that scripture, the more I realized that, the, you know, the fear was, they were all gone. And by today, I am so fearless. I'm free of fear. I want to thank God for delivering me from the spirit of fear. I also want to thank God for, you know, for ordering my steps to come to Possibilities Fair under the leadership of Pastor Joseph, you know, to raise up to prayer points that really, you know, touch those areas in my life that, I, that needed to be touched. So today, I am free of fear. Nothing comes in, about, nothing about fear that comes to me again. So I just want to give all the glory to God. Joseph had a great dream. He had a great dream. Even though the dream of Joseph was beautiful and great, he was frustrated. Joseph was so frustrated that he forgot his dream. He got so frustrated he began with him. His brothers locked him down in a pit. From the pit, they sold him. A whole young man, full of zest, full of energy, became a commodity that you are selling like you are selling bread. It became a commodity, you know, that you are selling like you are selling food. Have you ever seen that? Oh, my God. Do you know what it means for you to be sold? A price was put upon you. That is the case of some of you. People put price on you. They look at you like you are... 10 pounds. They look at you like you are 20 pounds. You are not worth anything. Can I submit to you? Don't give up on yourself. Even when men look down on you, don't look down on yourself. Your help has come. Say, Lord, I receive your help. Say, Lord, I receive your help. Because that is what you need. When the help of God locates your destiny, it will turn things around for you. Joseph received the help of God. From the, from the prison where they put Joseph, he entered into the palace from the prison. Can I submit to you, where you are now does not, it, it does not determine where you are going. I want you to know that. Where you are now does not determine. Like I told you, you know, at a point, some people look, they, I was so looked down on. But to the glory of God today, with the help of God, with the help of God, my destiny was raised. My life was lifted. Your life is lifted. Your life from today is lifted. Your li that is what Jesus asked me to come and tell you. That is what Jesus asked me to come and tell you. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't, 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 don't hang it. Don't, don't do it. Because something beautiful is coming out of this, your life. I'm speaking to you. Something beautiful is coming out of your life. Something great is coming out of your life. If I can be looking at you and telling you what I'm telling you today, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. At a point in time, I will, I will, I mean, I will be, I will, I will, I will be crying even on the street. But to the glory of God, it's not the same. I'm, I'm so full of joy today. My life is good. My life is better, not because of education, not because of connection, but because of his help. And I see that help coming for you today. The help, that is why you lift up your hands and say, Father, I receive your help. All you need to do today is receive his help. Lord, I receive your help. It does not matter what your case is. It does not matter who has run away from you. You know, I saw somebody listening to me this evening. You know, all the people that surrounded you, you are a man, you are a man. You know, things used to be very beautiful and sweet for you before. You were surrounded by so many people. People that don't know you call you their uncle. Everybody is calling you daddy. Everybody is calling you. People that don't even know you, they call you your friend. But all of those people have disappeared now. And the reason for it is because things seem to be on the down, downside for you. 
But do you know what? The Lord asked me to let you know that if you could be like that before, he can do it for you again. The Lord is restoring you again. The Lord is helping you. All you need to do is receive his help. Say, Lord, I receive your help. Say, Lord, I receive your help. Say, Lord, I receive your help. Today, say, Lord, I receive your help. Say, Lord, I receive your help. God is a specialist is in helping the helpless. God is a specialist in helping the helpless. I didn't come to tell you anything today than just to let you know that the help of God is available for you. It does not matter what your life has been before. It does not matter what you, you know, what has been happening to you. A new day has come for you. A new dawn has come for you. It's a new day. It's a new dawn for you. All you need to do is to welcome the help of God in your life. Welcome the help of God. Welcome the help of God. That was why the psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. In Psalm 121, Psalm 121, see what the psalmist said. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And that is the reason why in the case and cause of this Lord helping you, you must make effort to receive his help. You must make effort. And in, in, in making effort to receiving the help of God, I want to invite you to a prayer platform where we pray at least about four times a day. At least four times a day. Because what happened was 2014, the Lord Jesus appeared to me. He said, my heart aches because my people are afflicted. And the devil, Satan, that is afflicting my people does not have what it takes to afflict them. It's simply because my people don't pray. If my people will pray, the devil cannot do anything against them. And the Lord said to me, said to help my people. I want you to start a prayer platform. Do you know the good news? Over the phone. Start a prayer platform over the phone, where people can come and pray at least an hour a day. To the glory of God, we started this prayer platform 2014, and we don't only pray just one hour. We pray at least four times a day. 6 a.m., 12 noon, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. on daily basis. If you check the if you check the screen, you will see all the details of the access is in the comfort of your home. Because help is no help if you will not reach out for it. Help is no help if you will not reach out for it. I have met countless people that were afflicted of the devil that were down, that were giving up. Some were giving up to die, but they came to this place of prayer and things turned around for them. And that is the reason why I want to tell you, please come. It's not over with your life. It's not over. God is ready to help you. Jesus is ready to help you. But you must reach out. You must make effort to receive his help. And that is why I'm inviting you to that place of prayer. But if you are listening to me this evening, or oh, and, and you want to say to Lord Jesus, and say, you know what? I don't know you before Jesus. I want to know you from today. I want you to come in into my heart. I want to lead you in the prayer of salvation. Do you want to say, Jesus, just say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize myself as helpless. I need your help. I need you in my life. And today... I say, Jesus, coming into my heart, be the Lord, be the Savior of my life. Cleanse me by your blood and give me the power to serve you. Give me the power to sin no more. Give me the power to live for you. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. If you just pray that prayer, I want you to know that Jesus has come into your heart. And that is the first step to your change. That is the first step to your turnaround. Do you know what I want to say to you? There is help for you. Are you afflicted? Are you down? Are you, are you bound? Are you, are you broken? There is help for you. 
you know this is a broadcast to invite you into help do everything you can to connect you know connect to those players and should you need counseling there is uh, those numbers are on the screen for you get in touch with any of those numbers somebody will be there to attend to you somebody will be there to speak to you and i'm telling you it's not over with your destiny your life can be good again your destiny can be beautiful again that life can be glorious again don't anger don't close up you that said i will never have anything to do with any church with any pastor again don't let the devil destroy you that is a style of the devil to destroy you the end of that part you are walking is suicide don't go it let god help you let jesus help you he said go and tell my people there is help for them and i'm telling you today there is help for you the first gift of god to anybody is the gift of his word if you will take god on the gift of his word i tell you that becomes the platform for every other giftings of god god bless you i hope to see you in the next broadcast god bless you in jesus name amen